welcome back to my channel so today I have another video for you guys and it is my updated everyday makeup tutorial and the very first YouTube video that I ever uploaded is an everyday makeup tutorial I don't think I've ever updated it since I uploaded it so I really wanted to do like an updated version and show you what I actually do when I want to wear makeup I don't wear makeup every single day um, but when I do this is like my everyday makeup routine and I wanted to show you guys what I actually do, update the products, show you like some tips and tricks that I do for like this look right here that you're seeing and just so you know, I think I mentioned it in the video, if not then I'm mentioning it now but um, sometimes I go for eye makeup and a lippy but most of the time I actually conceal like my lid and just set it, apply some mascara and then throw on this Clarins Instant Lip Comfort Oil, Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil. I always mess it up. This is in the shade 06 Mint and I really like the smell and the taste of this. Yes, it tastes really nice as well. But yeah, I just throw this on and I'm good to go. Normally I do that because I'm quite in a rush and I really need to get things done. So yeah, I showed you some lip options. I swatched some of my favorite everyday lippies. And I also show you a little bit of my brow technique and what I like to do. Um, the eye makeup is so simple. I used two eyeshadows, four brushes. And that, I mean that's a little bit excessive. But, uh, yeah, you could definitely do this look with like two brushes, two eyeshadows. Um, but yeah, it's really good for on the go. And I really thought out for like a few weeks of what I actually like to use. Because I tend to change the products and switch around throughout different months. Like what I like to use and stuff. But the products I used... In this video are products that I've been using for like quite some time now for like an everyday kind of makeup look and the same technique, the eye look and everything. So I really wanted to update it and show you what I actually do. I hope you really like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up so I know that you like this type of a more toned down natural look. Sometimes I tend to go for more bold eye looks and stuff so sometimes I like to do natural makeup. If you want me to do more tutorials on that, please tell me down below and I'll do more natural looks, easy makeup looks. I don't know, tell me if you'd like to see any of those things down below. I'd really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to stop rambling and yeah, get a thumbs up and let's just go ahead and stop the tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to start with my face. Every single day I start with my face because it's a simple kind of eye makeup if I do eye makeup. So I just put my face on first. And I will be using the Nivea Post Shape Balm on my face today. And just... Now I just recently got this and this is the Gosh Prime and Refresh Illuminating Eye Roll-On. And it's kind of like an under eye primer and it's supposed to tighten and illuminate. I don't really see the illumination, but I do feel it them tighter. Me bugs, I do feel me under eye bugs tighter. And I feel like the concealer goes on a little bit smoother. I don't know. I don't know if it's for the combination of concealers that I'm using, but I'm like putting it all the way to the inner corner and then outer corner, dragging it a little bit downwards. Now today is kind of like an example day of how I would normally look on an everyday basis. So I have like really dark under eye circles and then I would get sometimes spots. Now I'm like quite spotty because of stress and hormones, so yeah. Once I have primed my face and it's like already a bit set, except the under eyes, I don't like to wait too long for the under eyes, I actually go in with my foundation first. And currently I've been using a lot of the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick, you know how it looks like. This is in the shade 117 equals Y225. I only apply a little bit, like when I want to have a quite a dramatic uh, look, I go for a lot of foundation, like a flawless full coverage foundation. But when it's like an everyday basis, I only add like a tiny bit and it might seem like I have a lot, but it really blends out into like kind of like a medium to full coverage. And I, especially when I feel like kind of spotty and tired, I really want to go for kind of like a full coverage foundation, but I don't want it to seem too cakey or too full coverage. So I go for this one, which I really like. By the way, this is the Manifard Cosmetics Flat Top Synthetic Kabuki Brush. It's the YX1226 brush. And I've been loving this for buffing out my foundations. Like, it's so quick. So yeah, I feel like I haven't chatted to you guys in a long, long time. And I just want to say that I am so excited because 
I finally plucked up the courage to start vlogging and I really want to do it and I, I think it's going to be really nice for like, I don't know, to vlog the summer, this summer and I have like some pretty exciting news coming up. I'm just really excited for everything. I just want something, some things to be confirmed and things. So yeah, I will definitely let you in on what it is as soon as I know what happens, but it's something exciting. I don't know. I feel like now's the right time to vlog. Maybe I should have started vlogging earlier, but I don't know. I mean, I think everything happens for like a reason. So when I feel like vlogging, I think it's it, it was the right time. So yeah. Now I look a bit yellowy, but it doesn't look like that yellow in person, I swear. I think it's the lighting. Let me try to fix the little. Immediately after I finish my foundation, I go in with concealer and as always, I'm using the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer, which I'm running out of on this one. I still have a backup, but you know, yeah. I like to use this concealer and mix it with the NYX Gotcha Cover Concealer in the shade OO Alabaster. I know I use this concealer like in every single makeup tutorial, but I have found my... I'm looking at my mirror, sorry if I don't look up at the camera, but... I have found my Holy Girl concealer and a uh, concealer. I can't speak today. I have found my Holy Girl concealer, and I don't think I need to look any further. So really, there's not any need for me to keep on finding other concealers and purchasing other ones when I know this one's amazing. So I mean, that's why I haven't tried. That's why I haven't tried many concealers. But yeah, I think I should try a few more just for the sake of my channel and trying new ones. Maybe I find a better one. I don't think I will because I really like this concealer. It's like everything I ever wished for. Now I'm going in with the NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer. Gotcha, yeah, Covered Concealer. And it's in the shade OO Alabaster. Yeah. And by the way, excuse the nails. Oh my gosh, I forgot to remove the nail polish, but I washed my brushes, I think I mentioned it in my other video, but I washed my brushes and this nail polish, I did not put a base coat or a top coat, so it chipped naturally with the water and the soap and everything, so it started chipping and it just started removing itself and I didn't take it off for this video, which was pretty dumb of me. <laughs> now that I blend it out with my finger. I really like to go in after with the sponge so I make sure it's completely blended and you can't see like my finger marks. Now to conceal my blemish I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer and it's in the shade 1.0 and it's the little tub right here. I like this to um, conceal some blemishes and also to clean up my um, cat eye or to clean my lip area when I'm wearing like dark liquid lipstick so I really like this concealer but I don't like it for under eyes it just it does not work for me for my under eyes normally you could blend this with your finger or the sponge but I find that using a brush just to dab over it works wonders see like you can see this I just gently dab over it and that's like my first layer with these stubborn pimples Next, I set my foundation with the Fit Me Set and Smooth Powder, and I feel like I'm hitting pan on this. I hit pan on powder so much, Ugh, I hate it. And it's not like I use a lot of it at a time, no, it's just I use it every single day, and I only buy one at a time because I don't feel the need to buy more, because it's just powder. But I've been really loving this one, it actually makes my skin look a bit dewy. Like, not really powdery. I don't know how to explain it. Go in with a big fluffy brush. With a smaller fluffy brush, I do the exact same and just set my under eyes because... Bronzer, as per usual, I will go in with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And ever since I found this, I think I've been using it almost every single day. Every single time I try other bronzers, they look orangey, they're too muddy, they're too gray, they're too orange, they're too red. Ugh, sigh. And this is the perfect undertone for my skin tone, so 
I mean, I feel like it looks really nice. It's not like too orangey. It makes me look like sunkissed. Like this is the actual tan color my face goes when it's been in the sun. Now for blush, I've been recently using two blushes and I like to use the NYX HD blush in the shade 09 Bitten because it's a really nice like universally blushy shade and I think it matches any makeup look but I've been recently going for as well the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette I know this is a limited edition and you cannot get it anymore this is why I don't really like to show it on my channel but I love this palette so much and it's merely because it has a shimmering glow to it and it's like pinky and it makes my cheeks like have this glowiness and I've been really liking this blush which is in the shade Hush Okay, so I'm just going in with a tiny bit and it gives me the nicest glow. So, yeah. Now for highlighters, I've been loving two highlighters, like a combination of two. And this one, I don't know if you can tell, maybe you can tell by the glow. Oh, it's so intense that I seriously cannot cope with the intensity. I forgot to tell you this, but this is actually the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, the Jaclyn Hill Collaboration Champagne Pop. I didn't normally use this because I wasn't a huge fan of it, but I mean, I've been loving it in conjunction with my other one and this blush, the Hush blush. The Hush blush, that's a tongue twister. I still put highlighter on the tops of my cheekbones because I like for them to shine when the sun hits them. And I know that's probably going too low for the highlighter, but I don't. I love combining it with the MAC Light Scapade Mineralized Skin Finish. I said that all wrong, but I like topping the highlighter off with this one because it makes it kind of white goldy but champagne-y. If there was a highlighter shade exactly like a combination of these two, I'd be so pleased because it suits my skin tone so well. And I don't know, I mean, I really like how this looks. Now, that's basically my face done. Now I just set everything with my NYX Dewy Finish Spray. This makes me look really dewy, so I do have to go over with my sponge and a little bit of powder on my T-zone because it gets like so dewy with like my foundation routine. I look dewy right now, and I just really like to set the powders, make the powders look dewy, and then just powder a tiny bit the rest of the faces, so. I nailed it. As you can see, it leaves me with a wet look, like even sweaty, you could think. So I do like to just dab the spray a little bit with like the spritzes. It looks, it makes the powders just blend in together so well. You can see my scrunchie. <laughs> now here's where I generally have to powder a tiny bit because it gets like too dewy. It, it makes me look kind of oily and I do get oily like right here right here and right here so I just go in a little tiny bit with the powder that I used and just dab it I think you can see it a little bit better but the powders completely like blend into my skin it looks so nice and I look like glowy and I really love it and it's quite long-lasting as well so now for my eyebrows I always brush them comb them whatever you want to call that and I just make sure the foundation's off, any powder, anything, because I do not like to use my brow products with like foundation and powder on them. For eyebrows, I've been doing two things recently. I've been loving for like a bold eyebrow look or maybe even a quick one, the NYX Eyebrow Gel, and this is in the shade Espresso. But when I want a natural brow look, I use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. So yeah, NYX. And this one's also in the shade Espresso, but this is 07 Espresso and this is 04 Espresso. So. It looked like these. Sometimes I use both if I want to like really sharpen up the tail. But for the sake of the video and today and how I'm feeling, I want really natural bushy brows. Then I just kind of clean up the bottom of my brow with this. Now this is a warmer um, shade. I do have like a cooler tone shade for my brows, but since I did my hair, I forgot to mention that I think I did do my hair. I got a balayage and my ends are blonde again. Yay! So yeah, a, lo a lot of the part of my hair is kind of like this toned of warm brown, brunettish. So I wanted to use this one now. Right now that I have that, I cleaned it up a tiny bit. I just fill in the tiniest amount around my arch. Just 
fill in the tiniest, tiniest amount to just trying to give it like somewhat of a an arch, a shape, but I don't want it too defined because then it will look like really fake and we're trying to go for like quite natural bushy brows, so that's basically all I do and now I just comb the product through so it blends. And that gives me kind of a defined look. And then I go in with my um, L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper in the shade Medium Dark. I've used it in my other videos and I've been loving this. It might not hold my eyebrows up as long as the Anastasia one, but it doesn't make them look bushier, so... Eh, whichever one you want, but I concentrate most of the product around my arch to conceal that I don't have an arch, really. And I just brush all the hairs upwards. And it does have fibers that makes my brows look even bushier. I mean, they're quite bushy right now. But, yeah. And there you go. That's one brow. Literally. It's that easy. Why am I speaking like this? I don't know. Anyways. On a quick day, I would normally just go out like this. Curl my eyelashes. Put some mascara on. And then, if it's a quick day, I will apply my Clarins. Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil. This is in the shade 06 Mint and I really love this. I've been loving this so much. I recently got it and I've been loving this. So I'm going to apply some right now just in case I want to go for a little bit of I probably will, but... I just want to hydrate my lips a little bit. I am going to do my eyes and I'm going to do a lip because I want to show you what I would actually do if I did my eyes. So, I'm going to use, I basically use three eyeshadows, two to three eyeshadows. And I grab this brush, this brush, and this brush. I use three brushes and two eyeshadows on an everyday basis. Now for today's look, I'm going to use the Morphe 25B. It's the Bronzed Mochas palette, and I love this palette so much. It comes with 25 eyeshadows, just as the name suggests. And they are so pigmented and buttery, they're my favorite eyeshadows to this day that I have ever tried. I'm going to use a big fat shader brush and go in with this shade right here. I'm sorry for the reflection. I'm going to go in with this shade right here, which is like a pale shade that is like almost my skin tone or my concealer tone. And I'm just going to set the crease right here because if I go in with eyeshadow right there, that is going to be a mess. Now for crease color, I'm going to go in with this one right here. It's kind of like a more cool tone. It's a neutral tone, I would say. A neutral tone, and I'm using the Coastal Sense Blending Brush, the Pro Blending Brush or Pro Blending Fluff. And it's the BR250 brush. And I'm just going to dip my brush in a tiny bit because these eyeshadows are so pink. You have no idea. I just apply that to my crease, like quite low because I blend it upward. And then I immediately go in with a smaller shader brush and the same shade I put on my crease and just and I just smoke out my lower lash line a tiny bit I just apply it under my lower lash line because I don't like the concealer to crease there and I normally cover it with the eyeshadow there so now with a flat shader brush I'm going to use this shade right here which I use the crease shade right here I'm going to use this shade right here I just grab a ton of that and just apply it all over my eye and these eyeshadows are so pigmented and easy to blend and I just start drawing it up words and I didn't have a little bit of follow but I didn't wet my brush and I grabbed a lot of eyeshadow because I want to do this quick I pack it on closest to my lash line and just drag it upwards in a circle motion I don't like to wing it out on an everyday basis and then I really think it just does my nail into a shadow and then I just grab my blending brush the same one I used to apply the crease color and just buff it out a tiny bit and that is it for eyeshadow. That is all I do for my eyeshadow. I just dust off the fallout that I had on this side, and just, just in case on this side. Dust it off, and then I curl my eyelashes and apply some mascara to really curl them. I think this is an important step for an everyday makeup that doesn't use eyelashes. The mascara I'm going to use is the Lash Sensational Luscious Full Fan Effect, and it looks like this because my eyelashes go straight down and I really like them to stay upward and if I use a regular mascara with curled eyelashes, it just does not work. They go back down, so I have to use a waterproof 
on my top and bottom lashes. Now, I don't really like this mascara for my lower lashes. It just gets a bit clumpy and you can't really get them. So I think I'm going to look for another one because I don't like this one for my lower lashes. Now that I've applied mascara and my eyes are looking like nice and fluttery and nice, I'm going to go in with a lippy. I always switch up between these four, yeah, four lip shades, four lip things, lip products. And one of them would normally be this, the Clarence Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil. And as I said, it's in the shade 06 Mint. I really like hydrating my lips with this during the daytime. And I mean, it's an easy kind of thing to wear. I could just eat without minding that my lipstick is going to like smudge or crack or fade or just rub off. So um, I normally use this, but if I am feeling like wearing a lippy like I am today, I normally apply that before like doing my eyes so they hydrate it and then I just kind of dab it off like I'm doing now and put this weird face because Okay, now that I have no foundation on my lips and they're looking pinkish again, I tend to go between these three shades depending on my mood and my outfit, really. <laughs> Today I'm wearing this pink shirt that says here, I don't know if you can see, it says yourself and in the back it says be your own muse. The lippies that I normally go for are either two NYX lip lingeries, which are my favorite shades out of the whole collection. Um, th they're in the shades 06 Push Up or 07 Satin Ribbon. Now Push Up is more like of a dark pinky brown nude and th this one's more of a pale nude. Now depending on what I want to do that day, I go for either or. But I want to do for a dark nude today so I'm not using Satin Ribbon. And the other lip shade that I really like and it's my favorite lipstick I think of all time. I just lipstick brand, lipstick color, I really like this. This is the Kaylin Pure Lust Extreme Matte Tint in the shade 32. And this has a velvety finish, so it's not entirely matte and it's not super drying. Um, but I just really like this formula. It is waterproof, it is long lasting, and I can eat with this and just mind that it comes up a little bit on the inner part of my lip, and that is it. So when I really want a long lasting lip, stick I tend to go for this one and this is a, not a brand that I'll, I think a lot of people have mentioned and go check their website out I know a lot of my viewers are actually from USA so this is a brand you can get over there and the original brand site ships within the USA um, this is quite hard to get in other countries but it did come at some point to Mexico and that's how I found this brand so um, yeah I really like this I'll just do a petite swatch of this. This is like a brown, very 90s nude. And then I'm going to swatch right next to it the NYX Lip Lingerie, Lingerie Push Up. And then for the sake of swatches, I'm going to use this one. I'm going to swatch this one. I'm also going to swatch Satin Ribbon. This one's the paler nude. This is the order you see the lip swatches in. This is Satin Ribbon, this is Push Up right here, and this is the Kaylin lip shade in the shade 32, as I mentioned. And as you can see, even from the bottle, this goes from lightest to darkest. And on my hand, this is what the swatches look like. I just dropped Satin Ribbon. Satin Ribbon is like really pale pinky nude, and this is Push Up. It's kind of like an in-between shade, and this is kind of a darker nude. I haven't gone for the Kaylin one, so I'm going to go with the Kaylin. I haven't... Kaylin, Kaylin, I don't know how to pronounce this, but it's kind of like a My Lips Look Better look. I really like this nude on my lip shade. So yeah, this is the finished look, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I really like how this look looks on my face for an everyday makeup. It's really simple, it's easy. Now I realized like I took forever doing this because I talked through it, but normally I would take doing this without eye makeup, I would take like 15 minutes. And if I do eye makeup, I would take like 20. So um, I really like this look, I really like how it turned out, and I really like my lip shade. It's like dark and I like it. But yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below uh, or at the end of the screen, <laughs> you'll see. Um, I really appreciate it if you subscribed. I love my little family right here on YouTube. I'm so grateful for all of you. I, can't, I just can't believe there's almost 200 of us right now. So yeah, I'm so excited. And 
I love you guys so much and I hope you really like this video so yeah give it a thumbs up and subscribe and at the end screen you could watch some more videos of mine if you're interested and yeah um, I love you guys so so much and I'll see you in my next one bye oh, this new crazy mother. Yeah.